Yes, the skin husks we've been finding around the city, the ones we think are attached to the metahumans. This is now the fourth one. Well, let's figure out what's happening before there's a fifth. Yes, sir. Deep breaths. Um, hello? Yes. Hello, Mr. Allen. I can still see you're there. And no, I don't want your help. Thank you. What are you doing here? Julian Albert, metahuman CSI specialist? Uh, I did tell you the metahuman conference was only for two days. OK, but this is... Still our lab, unfortunately. Yes, County forgot to mention that significant detail before assigning me, but here we are. Looks like you and I get to be roomies for a little longer than we'd hoped. I am Alchemy. I thought you could use some help on this one. You know, the two heads thing and all. I don't need any help, detective. Especially from him. What is that? Another epidermal husk, Alan. A fully intact human pelt, comprised of nothing but the stratum corneum. You see what I mean? Do we have any theories as to what's causing them? Well, I'll take a wild guess at it and say it's the same thing that created the last four husks. Spalling could be caused from toxic epidermal necrolysis or maybe some kind of moist desquamation from intense radiation exposure. We've had a lot of radio radioactive metas. Yes, thank you, Alan. I read all the case studies. I tell you what, when I figure it out, I'll enlighten you then, shall I? Thanks. Hey, um, I need your help. It's the four words I seem to hear you most often say, Barry. That and I hate that guy. Which the feeling's mutual, so. Mm hmm What's that? It's the finished Edward Claris report. Or should I say, the rival. At least that's what the Flash called him last night when he took him into Iron Heights. Hmm. I thought you might want to see it, you know, to do with your other case. Ah, uh, actually, it turns out there was no connection. Hmm. You know, I have to ask you. Hmm. How did you know his name? What? Yesterday, you came in and you asked for Edward Claris's report, but I didn't tell you who that husk belonged to, so... That means you stole a sample when you showed up to my crime scene. Alan, enough with the knee. Uh, where are you going? Uh, I'm going on a date. Uh, oh, not yet, you're not. You know, you're not actually my boss, Julian. Uh, I am the senior lab tech, and the last time I checked, the hours were 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Not 6.58, not 6.59, but... <laughs> Remember that other feeling you got when that thing you were excited about seemed to take forever to arrive? Imagine being a speedster. Days seem like weeks, hours seem like days, and seconds seem like... You get the point. Evan! I'll see you tomorrow. What are you doing? I assumed you'd taken a DNA sample before. Yes, I know what you're doing. I mean, why are you doing it? Why are you looking to steal another sample? <sighs> I've isolated an element consistent in all five of the husks that we found, including Edward Claris's. You mean the rival? Hmm, that's what the papers are calling him, yes. Well, I wouldn't be comparing samples if it wasn't a possibility, would I, Alan? It's a good thing for both of us I did. What? Come on. What? Okay. Where is she? Julie. You! You! Go! Stop! Hey, you stop, stop Julian. You did Me? it, didn't you? What? The lamppost. You did it, didn't what? you? No, 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 stop! You're a liar! Julian! You're a metahuman! Stop, no, stop it! You put your foster father in the hospital, didn't you? No, no. Didn't you? <gasps> didn't you? Oh, I wanted to do more than hurt him. Now I'm gonna do the same to you. You okay? Sorry, I'm late.
I had to meet somebody and... Uh... We can add tardiness to the list, Captain. Alan, it's been brought to my attention that you've been giving yourself unauthorized access to your colleagues' case files. Excuse me? Along with multiple infractions. Repeated absences, disappearing throughout the day, phone call interruptions, guests in the lab. The list is pretty extensive, Captain. I'm sorry, with all due respect, I do my job here. You do good work here, Alan. Don't put that in jeopardy by thinking the rules don't apply to you. Understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> sorry, Captain, that's it. Sir, I document eight different... Nine. Nine different violations of regulations, and he gets a 15-second talking to. Must be nice. We are done here. You can go. Are you really just being a tattletale? That's Bush League, man. You know what? You're right. It's silly of me to think the rules actually apply to the golden boy of CCPD's crime lab. Detective. He's unbelievable. Hey, Julian. You seen this? It's yeah. bad enough we have the matters destroying the city. Now we have this thing to worry about. Mm -hmm. Is there any point in me asking where you've been for the last hour? Or should I just assume the rules still don't apply to you? I was, um... Yes, I can. <laughs> Sorry. What if I gave up the lab? There's a storeroom downstairs that I could convert, so if you let me follow you on this case, lab's yours. Lab's mine? Okay. Deal. You can't slow me down, though. I would never. All right. I'll call you. What do you got? I said get it quick, but that was quicker than expected. Oh, no, yeah, it was a um, crazy Uber driver. Hmm. Well, the blast pattern and the scoring on the installation suggests that it was a power surge that blew it out. So it's a coincidence? I highly doubt it, but I'll figure it out. Someone in the city has to do something about these matters. What do you mean? We have a whole police force working to stop these matters. No, you have the flash. So it's not just bad matters you don't like, it's all the matters. I'm just saying that because of him, the police department has got lethargic. I mean, why do anything at all if the Flash is going to save the day every time? It's a bit like you with the rule breaking, a momentary fix, and now you're lazy, sloppy. <laughs> cool, thanks. Uh, I think the Flash is actually a source of inspiration for the city. I think he kind of provides hope. Yes, well, that's one of many things that we'll have to disagree on, Alan. What? Do you see something? A pattern. The creature's movements, they seemed random at first, but they were contained to a prescribed area. You know, like the creature was stuck in an invisible fence. Traffic cameras were down, right? Maybe it was being watched or controlled by somebody that needed to keep it in visual range the entire time? I'm constricting the creature's movements to the line of sight. That actually makes sense. Maybe there is a brain in there after all, Alan. Dispatch, this is CSI Alba, questing immediate backup. The monster has been sighted by the harbor. Hey, maybe we should split up. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, well, we gotta do something, right? Whoa! Don't worry, I have four years training in the military. Are you even still, since when does the CSI carry a gun? Since there were monsters in our city. All right, chill. exactly what I was talking about. Some meta has been gifted this incredible power, and this is the very best thing they can do with it. Terrorize a city. It's, it's pathetic. But why exactly do you hate meta so much? If you think I'm gonna break down now and tell you that one killed my parents, and that's why I have to do this job, I'm not. Okay? I don't need a deep personal reason to hate matters, Alan. I just need to see... Chilly in here, isn't it? Shut up. I need to think. Look, I know who you are. Okay, you're, you're, you're Alan's friend, right? Dr. Snow? I said be quiet. You're going to kill me? I need to find alchemy. Alchemy? What? Oh, uh, what do you want me to do? Alchemy has disciples, followers. I need you to create an algorithm that will allow you to locate anyone who has searched for a specific keyword in the last six months. 
we find one of his followers, they can take me to alchemy. Okay, but alchemy is a relatively common phrase. It'll have hundreds of hits. Then search for an uncommon one. Such as? Savitar. Savitar. Get searching. Did you not understand? Stop. Get out of here. No, I can't. What are you doing? Take her out. Take her out. You don't want to do this. You don't want to hurt anybody. She's willing to hurt someone. Knock her out. <clears throat> Caitlin. Oh. Hey. A hospital visit. I didn't think you'd miss me that much. What did the doctor say? Uh, concussion and... Frostbite, but I'll be dandy in a few days. That's good news. I'm glad you're gonna be all right. Yes, well, as much as I appreciate your outburst of emotion, I think we both know the real reason you're here. Your friend, Caitlin Snow, she's a meta, and not one of the friendly ones. Did you know? She's sick, Julian. She is a bloody menace. Julian, I... Man, I know that you think that getting powers is this binary game that you're either good or evil, but life isn't like that, even for metas. Ah, oh, stay away. No, Julian. You can't get away. There's nowhere I won't fight you. Only together can we bring about Become my servant once more. Become alchemy. It's been six months since I arrived here in India. Though I have faith, it's out there. The voice that once drove me has waned. And I fear my quest may be for naught. Julian, come quick. I think we found it. This is it. Hey, hold this. We should wait before we open it. It needs to be set free. As far as I know, Savitar is the first meta with speed. That is all I know, Alan. And I suggest that you don't waste your time on this. Move on. you had your own private facility for holding enemies. Do you care to explain what I'm doing in it? I know your alchemy, Julian. What? Turning innocent people into metahumans, worshipping this savitar? Sorry, I'm, I'm still not following. You think that I'm alchemy? That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Is that a mask? I've never seen that before in my life. I caught you! I caught you wearing this mask! You're trying to set me up. You're framing me, aren't you? Flash of all the people, you're setting me up. The hero! You're insane. The great hero! I want my phone call! When do I get my phone call? No. No? No. I've had enough of these baseless accusations and ridiculous theories of yours. Julian, I'm trying to help you. But you need to trust me. Says the man in a mask. No, you're right. I 
should have guessed it. Ah! <laughs> the unexplained absences, your passion for matters, your general thumbing your nose at authority. I'm sure you had a good laugh behind my back. I actually wished I could have told you before. So why tell me now? Because I need you to trust me, Julian. You are alchemy. I just don't think you're aware of it. Yeah, have you been blacking out? Yes.